I'll be going through the past, present challenge, and outcome. So Leo, in the recent past, we have the Ace of Swords. Now when it comes to love and relationships, the Ace can mean that you were probably ready to start something new. And if you were in a relationship, this can indicate that there's something about the relationship that you had chosen to put a stop to. You didn't hesitate to speak your mind. Also, if something in the relationship was hurtful or bad for you and you lost your partner because you said so, just know you have not really lost and you were being guided towards a relationship that was better for you. So it was important for you to tell the truth at that time. Now, the Ace of Swords is paired with the Ace of Cups. Now, this is an excellent card in the tarot regarding love and relationships. Either an existing relationship was going to take a turn for the better, but either way, it was a great uh, time for a relationship. Now, if it was an existing relationship, this could mean that it was going to reach a deeper level of understanding or commitment or almost any important aspect of a relationship. It probably would have felt like a brand new encouraging start. And if you were single and not committed, a new relationship was likely to appear soon. That's with the Ace of Cups. And those two are in the recent past. Now let's move on to the present. We have the Sun card. Now the Sun card is about a time. Well, this is a time if you are committed in a relationship when both you and your lover, your partner, may be in a more than usual, may be needing more space than usually. You and your partner may be feeling like you need more space than usual, okay? Keep in mind, this is not the time to be whiny, whiny, clingy, or needy. If you're looking for love, it definitely could be on the horizon for you. That's the Sun card, and it's paired with the Ace of Pentacles. Now, keep in mind, with the Ace of Pentacles, if you're in a relationship, it could rise to new and better heights very soon. You two will reconnect. If you're looking for love, this is a very positive time to get out and socialize because something new could start that's very promising in terms of love. So be prepared and think positive. Now, with these two cards paired together, uh, both you and your partner, you may be needing some space. Okay, so don't be whiny, clingy, or needy at this time. And love's, love is right around the corner for you if you're looking for it and you're, and you're single. Okay, and it's paired with the Ace of Pentacles. So your relationship is going to rise to new and better heights. You'll reconnect. If you're single, you'll reconnect with maybe someone from the past or maybe someone that uh, you just took a, a few days apart from. If you're in a relationship, that could be you too. You're going to reconnect and um, you'll be on, a, on a, um, a much better level of understanding. So just take the space. If you need space, feel like you need space. And... Um, like I said, I'm going to repeat this. It's important not to be with the sun card, not to be whiny, clingy, or needy. Give your partner some space because you two will reconnect. You have the sun card. You reconnect in a positive way. And then that's the present. Now let's move on to the challenge. We have the three of swords. Now when it comes to love, this card does not have to be the end. It does not have to be the end of a relationship, but it does almost always point to relationship difficulty and pain. In order for the relationship to survive, both parties must be willing to work on and talk about the relationship. You might, you might find that someone you thought cared about you is not as loving as you had supposed. So don't take this too personally, personally or dwell on the pain or sorrow for a long periods of time if this is the case just know you're being guided to a relationship that's right for you 
You cannot force something or someone to be right. That's the three of swords and it's paired with the king of swords. Now the king can mean a strong, forceful, opinionated man. He may be part of your scenario at this time. If this man is your partner, it means that you are going to have to accept him as he is. And whether you are male or female, you'll best deal with him by drawing on your feminine aspects, on your feminine side of your nature. Don't put up with being mistreated though. This man can walk the line between being stereotypically manly and overstepping his bounds. So if you have to protect yourself. With these two cards paired together, the queen, I'm sorry, the three of swords paired with the king of swords, it's basically just letting you know that it's not the end of the relationship, but it, there's some difficulties, there's some pain, okay? It has to be worked on for the relationship to survive. Worked on and talked about. And this uh, king, he's, this is considered the narcissist card. Um, doesn't necessarily mean he's, this is him. It could be um, a, just a strong, forceful, opinionated man in your life or someone coming towards you like that. Uh, it also could just be a boss. It could be someone that you work with that's forceful like this. Um, they overstep their bounds. Um, you may feel like ending this relationship with this person or if someone's coming towards you like this, you may just wanna, you probably feel like going the other way. But, um, if this is your partner, it's just going to require work, and you may have to accept him as he is, if you plan to stay with him, um, but just remember, it's just, uh, it's not the end, it is not the end, it's just another bump in the relationship, and it has to be worked on and talked about to survive, and the problem is, is that um, you're having difficulties with the way he is. He's the king of swords. Once again, he has a forceful, strong uh, energy. He oversteps his bounds and it's causing a problem in the relationship. Okay, so it's going to have to be worked on, like I said, and um, uh, things should work out but it requires talk. So there's going to be some pain and some sorrow right now. But once again, it's not the end of the relationship. And that's going to be the challenge. So let's move on to the outcome. We have the Six of Swords. Now the Six of Swords can depict the, uh, there's a need for change of scenery. As you can see in the picture, they're on the boat. And they're just, you know, this is not their daily activities, but they took a break and they tried something new. So there's going to be a need for a change of scenery. If you are in a relationship, take your lover on a trip, even if it's just down the street for a picnic or something like that. If you are looking for love, this card points to a need to get out of your normal routine. Change up your usual search if you want to meet someone new. That's the Six of Swords. It's paired with the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles is not a happy indicator when it comes to love questions, unfortunately. As you can see in the picture, you probably have your eye on someone that you feel is not treating you the way they should. It may be that you need to stop fantasizing about this person entirely. This card can be very much a card about feeling left out in the cold. So it's important to remember that there is never only one person that we can be with and have a soul level, happy, meaningful relationship. Now, when love is right, you don't or you will not have to do backflips to make it work. So broaden your horizons and try hard to think positive. You're a lovable person. 
with these two cards paired together, the Six of Swords, switch up your routine, your normal routine if you're looking for love. And if you're in a relationship, it, it needs a change of scenery. Take a trip. It doesn't have to cost money. It could just be strolls in the park, a little picnic, okay? And it's that card, the Six of Swords, is paired with the Five of Pentacles. Uh, it's not a heavy indicator. So you guys have some problems, still have some problems in the relationship, okay? So you're still working on um, possibly that king of swords that uh, likes to overstep his bounds or some type of situation like that uh, like I said it could be a parent or a co-worker all right if you're not in a relationship so back to the outcome you're still having some difficulties and they're making you feel like you're um, like you don't matter or they could be making you feel like, uh, left out in the cold yeah, because that's what the five of pentacles mean. So, <laughs> stop fantasizing about the relationship or the situation, okay? And um, do some things for yourself. Take a trip, change of scenery. Or if, it, if this your partner you're dealing with, like I said, switch up the routine. Try some something new. Um, it should be in the area of of movement, travel, getting out. So like I said, the traveling could be just some picnics uh, every other week, once a month. You know, that will help the relationship. And that's gonna be the outcome. So Leo, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day.